UNLV, the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, is known as the home of the running rebels. For us, it's more like the home of the floating rebels. I'm hanging with the Las Vegas One Wheel Group riding through the campus of UNLV, which is just minutes from the main Las Vegas Strip. During nice. this ride slash tour of the UNLV campus, I want to discuss the pros and cons of electric rideable devices on college campuses. But before we start this campus tour, I want to show you a DIY one wheel stand that really impressed me. I like that. So all just PVC pipe and yep. then do you glue it together? Yep. Uh, I haven't glued this one yet. Okay. But it's still neat. How much? Yeah, you don't even need to glue it. It's no. Just, it's under ten dollars. Ten dollars. I was gonna say. How much? Oh, this one's worth forty-five, forty-seven cents. Okay. Yes. What do you call it? What's the name? PVC stand. PVC stand. <laughs> all right. I love the creativity. Yes. <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Every time I come to Vegas, I, I find something new. All right, last time I was here, I, I, I yeah. discovered this. Hey, and this one is the pen. Bachi, did you use it? They want to give you? The UNLV campus was pretty empty because the students had yet to return from winter break. Aside from a few people working on landscaping, we didn't have much or any problems from staff, security, or police. They either ignored us or were fascinated by us, which was great because empty school campuses are wonderful areas to ride. The buildings, architecture, artwork, and history of university campuses can be pretty amazing. Combine the beauty of a college campus with the exhilaration and freedom that comes along with riding something like a one wheel or electric unicycle or e-skate and you have yourself an epic ride opportunity. The cool thing about UNLV is that their mascot is actually a rebel, a symbol of the university's independent, free, and rebellious spirit. Maybe that's why no one seemed overly bothered as a group of men wheeled through their campus on one wheels and an electric unicycle. <laughs> this is Tark right here. I love it. Rebels riding in a university of rebels. But not all college campuses are as accepting of these electric devices. I know of many campuses that have banned rental electric scooters citing old, quote, no motorized vehicles laws. While bans like these are unfortunate for rental scooter companies and their investors, where it really hurts is when bans like those are expanded to include personal electric mobility devices like personally owned one wheels, electric scooters, and electric skateboards. School administration may focus on all the cons of these electric rideable devices, including the dangers to the rider, the pedestrians, and as well as the potential damage the devices may do to the campus. When you consider the problems that come with rental scooters, then you also have to factor in all the complaints that stem from the lack of respect for the rental units as they're left strewn on sidewalks and roads, blocking paths, sidewalks, and doorways. It's like or your bumper, your bumper. Yep. <laughs> yep, it's like. It's, it's like, like a crayon. A, it's like a crayon, exactly. I was just gonna say, yep. Everything it touches, it turns it red. There you go. It's like crayon. <laughs> and look at those crayon tracks there. I love it. I'm sure when a rental scooter company decides to dump their scooters on a college campus, administration and campus police gets hit with complaints. But let's just forget about the rental scooter companies <laughs> for a minute, and let's focus mainly on just e-rideable devices in general. I find that people that own their own electric rideable devices tend to be more responsible when they ride. I remember when I was a kid starting college, I had to walk uphill both ways. That's right, uphill to get to class and then uphill to get to my dorm room. Anyone who's gone to UCLA and lived in the dorms they'll know what I'm talking about. It was a crazy amount of walking each day, and I would have loved to have something like a one wheel or an EUC to get around. Sure, a bike would have worked, 
but showing up to class hot and sweaty every day would have killed the little social life I did have as a college student. Rebels make it happen. A small portable electric device like a one wheel pint or a Gotway M3 would have been so amazing to get me to class and then to the library, the two places I spent most of my time during my college experience. Yes, I was a nerd. Actually, I'm still a nerd. <laughs> Universities are supposed to be forward-thinking institutions of higher learning where young people go to learn, experience new things, and to grow. Banning things like the one wheel from university campuses, it's a reactionary move. Inciting archaic laws of no motorized vehicles that were probably made half a century ago when such devices didn't even exist, that's just poor form. Wait, I missed that matcha. I want to see you do that. Not to carbon date myself, but the internet was just becoming a thing and people were just getting into email when I started college. Imagine if colleges banned internet and email just because the technology was new and foreign to them, or because colleges couldn't control what was on the internet or sent via email. Just as the internet enhances our learning experience, electric rideables enhance our ability to move efficiently from place to place. For that reason, I support e-rideables on campuses as long as they're used responsibly. There are plenty of bicycle-related injuries each year, but as a society, we are accustomed to bicycles because they've been around for so long. Therefore, we accept the risks and injuries involved. It's no big news when someone gets injured in a bike crash. The public tolerates it. The public accepts it. As long as the bicyclist was following whatever rules that are set in that area, there's no problem. Why don't we do the same for one wheels, e-skate, and EUCs? Instead of making a blanket ban on these amazing devices, how about we set some rules for all to follow? Here are five things I think that we can do to make college life with an electric rideable part of a successful and sustainable future. Set speed limits. Establish walk-only times and zones for high traffic areas of a campus. Give tickets and punish those that disobey. Let those that comply and ride responsibly continue to do so. Encourage safe riding and helmet use. Do you have any other ideas on how we can make e-rideables safer and more accepted on college campuses? I'm still amazed at how much I was able to pack into my quick three-day trip in Las Vegas. If you haven't already seen my other videos about the huge tech show called CES or the amazing night ride I did through Vegas, make sure to check those videos out. Thanks to all the kind people we've met at UNLV. What an open-minded and accepting university to allow us to ride on their campus. Hopefully it stays that way. Special thanks to Vache for lending me his Gotway Nicola to ride. I love that electric unicycle. Special thanks to Luciano for showing me his PVC one wheel stand. I'm going to end this video with clips from his tutorial he posted on the Las Vegas One Wheel Facebook group. What a great idea. If you found anything in this video worthwhile to you, then make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out and it keeps me motivated to bring you more content. Thanks for watching and remember to wear your safety gear.
Mm-hmm.